folks, the land we're meeting on here today is Aboriginal land. It always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Now, we're meeting here today, as thousands of people are, millions across the world, because not only is it today we're standing up for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, but today is Human Rights Day across this planet. One of our fundamental rights, one of the core rights we have as citizens in the 21st century is the right to the freedom of open information, the right to know what's going on. Why is it, why is it that our governments around the world think they can pick on Julian Assange and WikiLeaks? Why are they singling these people out and not attacking the major media? It's because they're living under the myth that there's a distinction in the modern world between the online community and the real community. They're misunderstanding the fact that this crowd today is confirmation of the link between the online community and openness online and the community in the real world. Because increasingly, the conversations that we're having at home across the dinner table, the conversations we're having in the public street, at our workplaces. It's coming from the information we find through the open sources of the internet, through organisations like WikiLeaks, through courageous people like Julian Assange. It's our right, it's our fundamental freedoms, and they can't mess with them. Why is it, why is it that traditionally the Australian government has been so weak in supporting the fundamental rights of our citizens when they're held overseas? Why have we seen government after government fail to stand up for Mumdu Habib, for David Hicks, and now for Julian Assange? Why are Australians' rights lesser rights than the rights of US citizens? Well, I'd say one of the fundamental reasons is our governments fail to recognise here in our country our fundamental rights. We don't have a National Bill of Rights. We don't have a New South Wales Bill of Rights. We don't have those documents that tell our governments these are fundamental Australian liberties. So when our citizens around the world are facing persecution from a US government, there's no strong message that we've given to our politicians that Australians' rights are just as fundamental as the rights of a US citizen. Why was it that David Hicks was subject to torture in Guantanamo at the hands of the US government with the connivance of the Australian government when US citizens weren't? It's because US citizens had a Bill of Rights. They told their government, you cannot do that to our citizens. And we need to tell our government, they can't do it to our citizens either. <laughs> One of the real threats that Julian Assange faces, if he comes back to these shores, and let's hope he does, is the threat that they will change the laws retrospectively to make what he did criminal in hindsight. What an outrage that would be. What a crime against basic fundamental rights. And again, we don't have those rights in a Bill of Rights here in Australia. We don't have those rights in a Bill of Rights in New South Wales. We need to stand up and tell our government, both here, in Australia, in Sydney and around the world, Australian citizens have these rights and always will have the rights. message from this rally today, gathered together most of us on 24 hours or less notice. It's that the online community and the real world community are one and the same. That we have the power to organise online, to come together, speak as one, from the information that we get through a free internet, through the free media we have internationally. And if the governments of Australia think that they can step on Julian Assange just because he's an online organiser, just because it's an online message. They've got another thing coming. On the weekend, on the weekend, the New South Wales Greens passed a resolution in support of Julian Assange, in support of WikiLeaks, and condemning the inaction from the Australian Government. Your gathering here today, in the absence of, the, of, of a spokesman from the Government, in an absence of a spokesman from the Liberals or the Nationals, confirms that the Australian people are miles ahead of our Government on this, Good luck for your campaign. Let's keep it up.
Our next speaker is uh, from WL Central.